In this video, we will cover everything about the crown head and setting of an engagement ring and their pros and their cons. This includes the setting styles, the prongs, the prong tips. After this video, watch my other videos on how to save and shop for engagement rings so you get the complete view of how to save money. Before we get into crown heads, I wanted to quickly talk about prongs. Prongs normally come in sets of either four or six for round diamonds, and sometimes three depending on the shape of other diamonds for the center stone. The less amount of prongs, the more likely the diamond is to loosen over time, but the more the diamond is shown off with less as well. Now, the smaller the prongs are, the more likely the diamond shape looks unaltered when you're looking down on the face of the diamond. But also, if they're smaller, the more likely it is the diamond loosens over time as well. A bezel setting is primarily known for its simplicity and durability. A bevel setting is when the metal encases the surrounding outer edge of the diamond in a fine frame of metal, which could be either gold or platinum. Normally, this takes away from the size of the diamond and its overall brilliance or sparkle because less light is moving through the diamond. If you have a white gold or platinum, it can lessen the effects of the diamond looking smaller and less light moving through it, but with this setting type, the diamond is securely in place. It just comes at the disadvantage of less light moving through it and looking a tiny bit smaller when you're looking down on the face. The last common type of center stone setting is a tension setting. A tension setting is more of a modern setting of a diamond into the ring. The diamond here is essentially squeezed into a small groove that is cut into the mounting, and these settings are designed to be very secure. The beauty of this is the diamonds can be viewed in almost their totality with the maximum light and sparkle moving through the diamond. Now, one possible disadvantage is, is the ring band is often thicker to minimize the microflexing of the metal so that it won't loosen over time. Back to prongs, since they are the most common for center stone diamonds. Prong tips can greatly affect the look of the shape of the diamond when looking down on the diamond. The larger the diamond, the less this effect happens. The larger the tip, the greater this effect might have when looking down on the diamond. But it will also be more secure if the tip is more thick and robust. The rest just comes down to preference. So the types you might encounter are common round prong settings, square, triangle, pointed claw, double claw, flat tab, V prong, heart shaped, and shared prongs. Rounded and pointed claw prongs typically go well with everything and every type of setting. And they are the least distracting with the diamond. So I would go with them unless you want more attention to be called to the ring design. For example, square prongs will make a round diamond look more square. So you would only want to use them if it really goes with the design of the engagement ring. Now let's move on to the crown heads. First, there's the classic crown head. Classic comes in four to six prongs and allows for the greatest amount of balance and stability with the combination of light passing through the diamond for its overall appearance. And this comes from light passing through at all angles. It is also used to raise the diamond from the band to give it prominence when looking at the ring from its profile. A basket crown head is used to give the diamond stability when raising it even higher from the band and in general to give it more stability so that it doesn't loosen over time. However, this band affects how the light passes through the diamond ever so slightly because there's a band that goes around the diamond which means less light. Now, I don't recommend this if the metal will not be a white gold or platinum because white gold and platinum tend to mask the effect of less light going through it. But because the diamond is often set higher, the diamond can get more attention if you use a basket head. A twist or spiral crown is a more lively feature for a crown head. And it's not as static or simple looking as a classic crown head. As with most fancy design elements, this can take attention away from the diamond, uh, but can improve the look of the overall ring itself. A trellis crown head is a set that is done for the typical three crown ring style of engagement ring. 
Now this crown head crosses over into the ring style as well. So if you wanna know more about it, watch my video on overall ring styles after watching this one. But in short, this is good for adding other medium sized stones of different colors and diamonds next to your center stone. And it does call a lot of attention to the ring. Another crown head that is also more of a style of the overall engagement ring is the halo crown head. This style adds a line of smaller diamonds uh, surrounding the center stone. It makes the center stone appear larger because of that line. A double halo adds another line on top of that to enhance further our perception of the center stone to make it look a little bigger. Halos can be traditional where the diamonds surrounding the center diamond are flat, or they can be slanted where the surrounding diamonds are canted facing more outward than the traditional style. The slanted halo gives the crown a more gradual and smoother feel. For more on this style, again, watch my ring styles video. There is also a petal crown head that is not as common as the other styles and it blends more into the custom style of crown heads. Most of the time this style lets in less light but is very artistic in that it gives the impression that the diamond is a rose or uh, something floral of that nature. Now the rest of the crown heads are customized designs, but you will pay a lot more for a custom design and they normally take away from the tension on the center diamond. So just be aware, the more fancy the crown head, the more it takes away from the center diamond. Make sure you watch my video about different ring styles if you wanna know more on these things and my video on how to not get ripped off when looking for diamonds or you can watch my tips on how to have the best marriage proposal. Don't forget that the link below this video is the best place to buy diamonds online and just in general, so you can save hundreds to thousands on jewelry and it will help you out. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.